Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. My name is Mandy. On this very productive weekend, I was starting out with some iced coffee. This was the first time that I had ever made iced coffee using this coffee pot, and it was so good. So in today's video, I have lots of motivation for you, cleaning, laundry, food, and meal prep. So I hope you enjoy it. Now let's get started. I'm starting to work on my meal planning. I just have the Ibotta app pulled up. So I'm looking at all the Ibotta deals. I have the Walmart app pulled up as well. I'm going to be meal planning this coming week out of this cookbook, Instant Loss, Eat Real, Lose Weight. This is by Brittany Williams. Um, Jen Chapin recommended this cookbook. So, you know, <laughs> if Jen recommends it, it's gotta be good. This is my to-do list that I want to try to do this weekend. I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of it. I'm gonna meal plan, do my grocery order, um, meal or food prep. I'm going to do mine and Jason's laundry, Amelia's laundry, try to clean the kids' bathroom and the laundry toilet, um, clean Amelia's room, and vacuum and mop all the floors in the main living area. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get to do all of this this weekend, but this is my to-do list. This is what I'm gonna try to get done and we'll see what we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish um, doing my meal plan and get my grocery order in. And while I'm waiting on my grocery order, I'll probably start doing the cleaning. Okay, so my grocery order is not gonna be here until between six and eight, uh, the Walmart order. My Publix should be here in an hour or so. They're actually shopping right now for it. I just didn't get my meal plan and stuff done last night. It was late when I started working on it and I just couldn't concentrate and I was in the bed already and then Jason came to bed and he wanted to go on to sleep and I didn't want to keep him up or anything. So um, it does take a little extra time whenever you're going through a cookbook and you're trying to plan out what you want to meal prep, what types of food you want to prep, because um, I'm doing lunch and dinner and then one and actually breakfast as well. So it's going to be a pretty big meal prep, but I probably am not going to get to even start the actual meal prepping until tomorrow. While I'm waiting on my Publix order to get here, I'm going to go ahead and start the laundry for Amelia. Her laundry basket is overflowing, so I need to do that. Here is her laundry basket. It is full and overflowing. <laughs> so this side is for the towels, which we don't really have that many. I think there's some clothes in here that's not supposed to, nope, that's cleaning towels. All right, so I'm just going to take this off. I'll go get these washed. just like that the clothes were all washed and now I'm putting them in the dryer I wish it really worked that fast <laughs> so now I'm gonna just go into her bedroom Amelia's bedroom and fold up all the laundry put it away and then get started on cleaning up her room it's not that long since I met you for the first time mm -hmm. you know we should work it out should work it out before I'm too invested. I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions. Get to know I want to take a minute and just apologize for how the uh, video gets dark and then it brightens up when I move in certain directions in front of the camera. I'm still trying to learn this new camera out that I got for Christmas. If you are a YouTuber and you film videos, help me out on this. <laughs> I need help. I have watched so many YouTube videos on this particular camera. It's the Sony ZV-1. Um, I, it's just, I get so overwhelmed when I start watching stuff like that. So. If you have any tips for how to get the camera to not film it that way, I think it has something to do with the exposure or something. I don't know, but I need help. <laughs> to give you my heart, yeah. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. I 
I'm all finished with Amelia's room, so now I'm gonna move on to their bathroom. When I clean my toilet, when I'm giving it a good deep clean, I like to flush it out using a pan of water or a bucket of water, and then I'll put the snow bowl or whatever uh, toilet cleaner I'm using, I'll put that in there, and then I just let that sit for a while so it can actually do its job. Now I'm cleaning their shower and I'm using a DIY mixture that I saw on TikTok. Um, it's warm water, baking soda, vinegar, and I think it's Dawn Platinum soap. Um, it was okay. I don't think it was like amazing as this TikToker made it out to be but I'm so used to using the Kaboom product and it works really well. However, it gives me a really bad headache and then I start getting a little nauseous. Um, I can't open that window there that's in the shower. Same thing for the master bathroom whenever I'm cleaning that shower and that one is worse because the shower is smaller, but I don't know. I'll keep using the concoction that I made up so I don't waste anything, but I really like the Kaboom. Maybe if I use this all the time, it'll be better. I don't know, we'll see. So to clean off the vanity, I'm just using a generic Clorox wipe. I don't even know what brand this was. I think maybe from Sam's, the members mark or something, but I'm just wiping everything down. Hey guys, it is the next day, Sunday. I'm getting a late start. It's already 12.15. I did cook everybody some breakfast. We had eggs and hash browns and um, it was really good. And then I got the kitchen cleaned up because I'm getting ready to start all of my meal prepping and food prep. So I'm gonna um, get started with that. I think I'm gonna make the smoothie bowls, or not smoothie bowls, the smoothie bags first and get that out of the way and then I'll start in on like the chicken, the chicken salad and stuff like that. So that is my plan for today. Jason is home. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Um, he's actually in Bella's room getting ready to put up the LED lights that she got for Christmas. Uh, we just haven't had time to put them up so he's going to be working on that and then he just has a few things to do around the house and yeah so let's get started on meal prepping all this yummy food. So before I start prepping everything I wanted to clean out the sink really good. I'm just using the barkeeper's friend uh, the powder and giving it a good scrub and then I will start in on making all the food. So I'm gonna start out by squeezing some fresh lemon juice into a little bowl. There were a couple of the smoothies that required uh, lemon juice. I think I ended up making four smoothies. There was an antioxidant ginger berry, and then a tropical green smoothie, a citrus mint smoothie, and a carrot mango smoothie. And all of these are from that Instant Loss Cookbook. So what I'm doing is writing down what smoothie it is that I am making on a quart uh, freezer bag. And then I put down the rest of the instructions. Like whenever I get it out of the freezer, I have to add a cup of water and blend it until it's nice and smooth. And I'm using our Disney popcorn bowls to put the bags down in there so that they stay standing upright. This is something that I use a lot, or like if you have a big butter bowl and you're using a large gallon size Ziploc bag, 
you can use that and put the sides down on the side of the bowl and it will hold it up. You don't always have to buy those fancy little clips. I know they make them that holds the bag up. They are neat, but I just like to use what I have on hand. So now I'm washing up some spinach in my OXO salad spinner. Um, I love this thing. I will have it linked down in the description if you guys want to check it out. It was a gift from my sister-in-law, but she of course got it from Amazon. So I will leave that link down below. So I'm just going to keep on um, making these smoothies. And I will have to say the antioxidant ginger berry smoothie. I had made one later on this day and I did not like the ginger in it. I like ginger but I didn't like it in the smoothie. So the next morning, whenever I made one for work, I ended up taking out the piece of ginger because I didn't want that in the smoothie. But don't you try to call me A tropical green smoothie called for diced mango, which I used frozen instead of fresh. But I'm going to have to say I don't really care for mango. This was actually the first time that I had mango and I don't really like it. So the next time that I make this, I will just leave out the mango and add in like extra banana or an extra pineapple but other than the mango it was pretty good So now I'm moving on to just washing up the produce and getting that prepped. And to do this, I use my salad spinner and some distilled vinegar. I go back and forth between using distilled vinegar and my lemon essential oils. It just really depends on what mood I'm in for that day. <laughs> but whenever I washed the grapes, the water was so dirty. Like I've never had it be as dirty as it was. I wished I would have gotten a clip of it to show you how dirty it was. So just as a reminder, always, always, always wash your produce. <laughs> I'm going ahead and chopping up this broccoli into bite-sized pieces so that whenever I'm packing my lunch or Bella's lunch, um, I can just grab the broccoli really quickly and put it in containers to put in our lunch for the day. I'm also doing that with the cucumbers. Amelia really likes cucumber slices in her lunch. She's not a huge broccoli fan. That's something that I make her take a bite at least of one little broccoli tree whenever we do have it. She has to eat at least one. Um, I'm also doing that with the green peppers. I've had these for a while, so I've needed to get those cut up and I'm just gonna use them like as a little veggie tray or if I do some soup or something like that, it's already sliced. All I have to do is just chop it up even more, but it's already washed and pretty much ready to go. I find that if I go ahead and prep everything like this, then we don't tend to waste as much of the food as I would if I didn't prep any of it ahead of time. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind. 
So now I'm just putting my romaine lettuce that has been washed and spun dry into a container. I like to take a big long piece of paper towels and put it in the bottom and have it, uh, and have it long enough to fold over the top just so that it will absorb any moisture that's left on the lettuce. And in this container, I have some washed spinach and kale. I used some of this in the smoothies that I made. So I went ahead and washed the rest of it up and I'll just add that into salads throughout the week. So now it is time to move on to making the chicken salad. So what I'm doing is taking two pounds of chicken, I'm putting some sea salt and black pepper on it, and then I'm going to put it in the Instant Pot on top of the trivet that comes with the Instant Pot. I have about a cup of water uh, down in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna cook this on manual high pressure for about 16 minutes, and then let it do a natural release for 15 minutes. While the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the ingredients together in separate bowls for the different chicken salads that I'm making. One of these was supposed to be a curry chicken, and I thought that I had curry powder, but I didn't. So I decided to uh, use my body a complete instead, and that turned out so, so good. I have to remember to use that again in chicken salad. And then another one was dill chicken salad and then a dumped chicken salad. The ingredients was pretty much the shredded chicken, carrots, celery, mayonnaise. One of them had cashew nuts, grapes, um, almonds, onion, and the dill chicken had dill weed, obviously. And then the dumped chicken was kind of whatever you had left over went into it and they so far i have had the one with the body of complete and the dump chicken and they both have been so good i haven't had the dill chicken yet i'm actually going to have that tomorrow for lunch whenever i go to work so give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night To see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Go for this, no more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out, and there's no doubt that I should be with, that I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by
I will look online and see if any of these recipes are online somewhere so I can put the link down below. If not, I will definitely link the cookbook down below so that you guys can check that out. Now that the chicken is done, I'm just going to pull it out using the trivet handles and I'm going to dump that liquid into a mason jar because that is some good chicken stock. I actually took a couple of sips of it after um, it cooled down a little bit and oh my goodness, it was so good, so rich and very flavorful. And all, all I used was the pepper and salt in the chicken and it was so good. So I just put the chicken back into the Instant Pot and I'm using my hand mixer to shred it up. And then for each of the chicken salad bowls, I'm putting in a cup of chicken, mixing it up really good. And then I'll go ahead and divide it out into my uh, meal prep divider containers. And yes, there I did take a taste test to see how it was and it was really good. <laughs> Put a salad here like some lettuce and cucumbers and stuff and a little bit of dressing but I have all of them made up the last thing that I'm making is cinnamon walnut breakfast cake and this is from the same instant loss cookbook this cake was very good. Amelia really liked it. She kept saying it was like blueberry muffins, but I don't know where she's getting the blueberry from. But <laughs> if she likes it, that's a good thing though. So what you're going to need for this is eggs, water, coconut flour, pure maple syrup, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, sea salt, baking soda, chopped walnuts, and some extra virgin coconut oil for greasing the pan. And this is what I needed that little six inch bunt pan for. And let me tell you, it made the cutest little cake. I can't wait to make this again. I'm actually going to make up like three or four of them and put them in the deep freezer so that I will have them ahead of time and I don't always have to make them. So you just put everything in a blender and you blend it on high until smooth and then you um, are supposed to cover it with foil and I forgot to do that so I had to take it back out cover it with foil put it on manual high pressure and cook it for 35 minutes and then you'll do a quick release and it just made the cutest little cake and like I said it was very very tasty I do like to heat it up in the morning and have it with my coffee it is so so good there were a couple more things I wanted to make, but I didn't get to it, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't get everything done on my list, but that's okay as well. I still got quite a bit done. So that is going to wrap up this very productive weekend video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and tap on that bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.